All right, we had to brush these graphics off at the end of last week. We're talking about the tropics. Hurricane season starts on June the 1st, but we're already seeing some of the first little inklings of some possible development. We're looking at the Southern Caribbean. There's a little bit of unorganized thunderstorm activity down in that part of the Caribbean Sea, uh, and the water temperatures are certainly warm enough to support a tropical system. All the red shades you see on the map are showing sea surface temperatures at 80 degrees or higher. Note the Gulf of Mexico. Not all of it is at 80 or above. That'll change as we head toward June, uh, but getting back into that Southern Caribbean area uh, between May 18th and May 20th, that's the mid to late part of next week. Both the GFS and the European forecast models are showing uh, at least an attempt to develop something. Uh, it's at this point, something to watch and not necessarily worry about. I say that because if you follow, you know, whatever you follow on social media, the GFS has been getting a lot of attention because it keeps wanting to throw a bigger storm into the Gulf of Mexico, but the GFS has that bias with it. So a lot of times in the early parts of the season, it'll try to develop a bigger storm than what actually ends up happening. So at this point, I'd say that this area, even into the Pacific Ocean, the European wanting to take something over there, somewhere in Central America, there may be a little spin up, could have a tropical depression by this time frame, but I'm not thinking something huge is gonna come into the Gulf of Mexico. And we're talking about the GFS, this is the GFS wind shear forecast, and we're going to take this all the way into and through that development range, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd of May, and the GFS is showing a lot of wind shear right through the Gulf of Mexico. So even if something tried to get to the north, that wind shear would be problematic for whatever did develop. So that's what we're looking at. Again, we're not worried about it, but that Central America region of the Caribbean Sea uh, is something that could show signs of life by the end of next week. Sunday